less than a minute. Okay. <laughs> so basically, yeah, I took 106, 107, 108, um, and the business entrepreneurship class, and I could talk to you guys after. Um, he was in my group, and do you want to talk a little bit just quickly about our project? <laughs> so uh, I took 106, 107 here with Mark and Sanjay, and then um, I took 108 with Cecil. I think we were the first group to go through that, and I think Greg kind of saw how rough things were for us <laughs> at that time. We really had the hardest time collecting a project initially. But it's just getting to it and then starting working on it. We were able to uh, create a, a sensor-based system that would detect the quality of your transportation or your, your producers and so on using IBM, Hyperledger, and blockchain and that kind of stuff. So you can come up with and do whatever you want in those projects. and. I mean, it's you are the only limitation. I mean, you can build as much as you want or as small as you want, and it's the most, the best part of it is you're doing hands-on stuff, so you learn the most. So you, so you apply that, you, you learn programming, you learn data science, but then what do you do with it? This is what you do with it, right? So that's where you learn the most, and and then you get skills for presenting in front of people and you know doing a pitch to people like Greg, right? So. Uh, in short, I think that's a pretty nice way of learning about the whole whole area. Right? And this is just a starting point. And from here, you can go on to whatever you want to do. You will have to learn more, right? And this is just the start of your, your journey in a way, right? So keep that in mind. Right? And I'm Matt. Um, this semester, I'm in 107, but starting about a year ago, I started with the program meeting Cecil. Uh, I did a presentation with my group, we collaborated to make a prototype of a prosthetic leg with sensors that could detect the moisture level for a prosthetic leg because this is a problem that people with prosthetics have. So we got a really good chance to present this in front of all the important people at IDT like Greg, Rudy, Lots of other hiring managers. It was a really good experience, and I ended up working at IDT as a paid intern under Rudy for six months last year. Uh, this semester, I'm focusing on the classes, uh, helping out with these classes, specifically intelligent lighting. But basically, a year ago, I had some Python knowledge, but I hadn't really thought of data science, I hadn't really thought of a way to apply this stuff, and it really gives you a chance to be creative and use your skills and make a project and think, oh, this is a, an inefficiency in the marketplace. This is something that doesn't exist, and this is how I can use sensors to make this work. And so it's, it's definitely been a good experience and helped me, like you said, it's a step on the journey, and it's, it's definitely a good one I would recommend.